Okay, so um, uh, I choreographed it for a fashion event as well, and I actually did want to make a comment with my dancing. Um, there's three girls. We look identical. We're just exactly the same, and it's a uh, it's a it's a bogey, um, uh, wacky. But I was using that to make a comment about the meat, the meat. Uh, what's it called? Like the meat industry of the fashion world, and uh, the fact that everybody looks the same, and the girls look a bit dead. You know, like they're a bit like they're a bit dead, and they're just like like here's my ass, here are my tits. You know, like it was kind of just meant to be a bit like express the um, like the dead feeling that I get sometimes when I look at conventional fashion world. This is all about non-conventional. This is all about um, different uh, you know tattoos and piercings and and a, a non-conventional fashion world. But I play up the conventional fashion world in my dance. You know, it's pink. I'm very like in your face with um, with the ass and really like dead looking, and it's it's kind of quite mainstream, but on purpose. But here's two things. I don't think anyone will get that. I don't think that's not clear. That's just the backstory for me. And two, um, it's meant to be done with three girls. That's how it kind of works because it's these three girls, and we're 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 like mannequins. We're identical when we dance. But it'll just be me, and I think, and the song, they're playing heavy metal, kind of punk rock in there, and this song is pop, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Doug, behind the camera, he thinks that I should do it, even if I get booed, and you know what, getting booed would be a pretty good lesson. No, I kind of feel like I should do it, but we have an, we have another problem. I don't have the music on the CD, so we need to fix that before I make the choice.